Hello, my dear friends. This is another video explaining about the formation of partial differential equations by using the technique elimination of arbitrary constants. So, once again, I can brief that hint. There are equal number of arbitrary constants and independent variables we get first order PDE. If there are greater number of or more number of arbitrary constants than the independent variables, you will get the second or higher order partial differential equation. Got it? So, this is the simple hint for you. Now, I am going to take a relation consists of more than two independent variables. Let us see. Is that is equal to? a x square plus b x y plus c y square. So, this is the equation number 1. a, b, c are arbitrary constants. So, there are 3 in number. So, more than 2. So, we will get the second or higher order PDC. Let us try to eliminate the a, b, c by differentiating x and y. So, first step. Now, differentiate 1 partially with respect to x and y. So, with respect to x, the left hand side is dou z by dou x is equal to a x square differentiation is 2ax, b is the constant, x becomes 1, so by. No x, it is 0. Right? With respect to y, dou z by dou y in the left hand side, no y in the first term, 0, b is a constant, so b, x is the constant, so x, y becomes 1, bx plus c is the constant, y squared becomes 2y, so 2cy. So, from this equation number 2, there are a and b, and here, equation number 3, b and c. So, eliminating the a, b, c from 2 and 3 is not possible, because of there are more number of arbitrary constants, so at least we may proceed for the second order. So, how to proceed? Let us see that. Once again, once again, differentiate 2 partially with respect to x and y. So, when you go for with respect to x, what happened? The left hand side becomes dou by dou x of dou z by dou x. The right hand side becomes 2a because x becomes 1, no x is 0. Got it? What about this term? Dou by dou x of dou z by dou x is nothing but dou square z by dou x square is equal to 2a. Otherwise, R is equal to 2A. Otherwise, A equal to R by 2. So, I get the A value. A is equal to R by 2. Mm -hmm. What about with respect to Y? Once again, differentiate the second equation with respect to Y. Dou by dou Y of dou Z by dou X is equal to. The right hand side is no Y. So, it is 0. B Y. So, Y becomes 1. So, it is B. So, the left hand side is something that dou squared Z by dou Y. Dou X is equal to B. What is the notation for dou squared z by dou y dou x? This is called the mixed partial derivative. So it is yes. So b is equal to yes. So right, sir? So from second equation with respect to x, this is with respect to y. I found that a and b value. I need only one more constant c value. How we will get the c value? Can we use the equation number 3 now? Yeah. So differentiate equation number 3. Partially with respect to y. If I with respect to x, once again I am getting the same dou squared z by dou x dou y. That is already we found the value. So I don't go for that with respect to x. So I go with respect to y now. So once again differentiate with respect to y. Dou by dou y of dou z by dou y is the left. Equation number 3 left hand side. Is equal to dou by dou y of the right hand side of equation number 3, y. So, no y at all here, so 0. So, y becomes 1, it is 2c. Right, sir? Dou into dou becomes dou square z by dou y square is equal to 2c. What is the notation for dou square z by dou y square? It is t. So, t is equal to 2c. Otherwise, c equal to t by 2. So, I get the a equal to r by 2, b equal to s, c equal to t by 2. Now substitute a, b, c value in equation number 1. 
in equation number 1. So we get z is equal to a value r by 2 into x square, b value s into xy, c value is t by 2 into y square. So taking 2 as LCM, cross multiplying it, we get it is 2z is equal to rx square plus sxy plus ty square. So this is the required PDE of order 2. Why? Because R represents second order partial derivative dou squared z by dou x square. S is also dou squared z by dou y dou x and T is also dou squared z by dou x. Any one term present it is called second order only. Is that right sir? So this is the required PDE of order 2. Why we get second order? Because of there are more number of arbitrary constants. So that's why we get the second order. Isn't it? Huh? From second equation, third equation, we further proceed one more time with respect to x and y. Find out the a, b, c value if possible. After getting the a, b, c value, substitute in the given equation number 1. So that is the idea behind this topic. Formation of partial differential equations by eliminating the arbitrary constants. This time I go for the more number of arbitrary constants. Okay? I think so. You may understand this. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy. Thank you. Thank you so much.